Hi, I'm Joy. A few days ago, I got another FSD beta update 10.12.2. If you've been subscribing to my channel, you will know that I am about to take my car out on that challenging residential street with many roundabouts at the intersections that are not indicated on the actual navigation map to see how this version of FSD beta handles that challenging street versus the previous version. And as usual, I am making a disclaimer. I normally don't do FSD beta videos on my YouTube channel, and this is the only route that I am doing the FSD beta videos on because FSD beta performs 80 to 90% perfectly. And if I put out a FSD beta drive video, it's going to be super boring to you. So this is the only one that's exciting because of the discrepancy between the navigation map itself and the mini roundabouts that the city had installed at each intersection that may not show up on the actual map. And the previous drive on the previous FSD beta update, to my surprise, it had improved so much. And I will put a link here or here that you can check out the previous drive for comparison. So without further ado, let's check it out. We're about to turn into the residential area. And if this is your first time watching my FSD drive video on this particular street, the reason why I do a disclaimer at the beginning of the video is because there have been anti-FSD beta, anti-Elon Musk people using videos, including mine, to twist the safety of FSD beta and uh, saying that this should be banned but from my experience, I much rather have FSD than without because it gives me extra pairs of eyes with all the cameras around the car. And a lot of times the car would react much faster before I realized that there could be a potential collision. You have no idea how many times I've actually apologized to my car because my car would do something like slowing down all of a sudden and I would be like, what is wrong with you car? I would get mad at the car at FSD and then I would see either a pedestrian cutting in front of me or another car coming through that I did not see quick enough, but the car reacted and I had to apologize to my car and like, I'm sorry, you're totally right. So that's a reason why I do that disclaimer at the beginning of um, my videos for this particular drive. So this uh, street, we're not there yet, um, but this particular street is, a, is an outlier. It is an edge case. It does not represent 80 to 90% of uh, the times that I use FSD beta. So don't use that video if you're watching this to cherry pick and uh, to suit your twisted agenda if you are anti FSD beta. So here we, here we are, we have some bumps here. Um, the previous version, it did not detect the speed bumps and it didn't appear on the screen either, but it looks like they fixed it in this FSD beta version to slow down when the car is encountering speed bumps, but it still does not display on the screen like two updates ago. So I don't know if they will add speed bumps um, rendering back, but at least it's slowing down for this particular update, which is good. And stop sign, perfect. And we're about to go down the street. And when we turn on left, oh, oh there goes my sunshade. And it did, it did not detect that uh, speed bump back there. So, so this street, after we turn left, 
this is the tricky street and I'm actually going to reduce the speed to 25 miles per hour and take the second exit so here's the first roundabout and I know in the previous versions this had performed well and great it performed confidently with that first one and take the second exit and this one has has some issues but okay it kind it didn't really slow down but it went around okay and then this one it also has had issues so let's see oh oh my goodness so much better so much better and here we have a pedestrian and it stopped for the pedestrian and actually I don't want I don't want to stop navigate to Del Taco and let's go okay so this last one I couldn't test because um, my destination was to turn right, but the previous three on um, this way, it, <laughs> wow, this version really improved how it handled those roundabouts. So great job. If you go back and look at all the previous drives that I've done on this particular street, you can clearly see the progression of FSD beta. So now I am going to turn back around and come back this way and see how FSD beta handles the street. All right, now we're gonna go back. Down the street and uh, see how beta handles those roundabouts. And uh, some of them are not actually indicated on the navigation map. And I think that the way I'm testing beta um, is a good way of doing so because this is my control, my test street. So every time there's a new beta version, Oh, nope, still this first one is still um, an issue. In 500 feet. Just like all the previous the version. Um, but by me coming on here, ooh, awesome, great job. That one in previous versions, it did not work. And then now, let's try this one. It, it was like slow down or try to stop, but wow really confident that is it stopped right before the crosswalk but then once it went it went very confidently wow beautiful oh my goodness i did not finish what i was gonna say earlier because i'm just so blown away so far if you go back and watch all the previous drives i've done on this particular street you would see that um the roundabouts the the second and third one it always had difficulties navigating around okay and here i'm going to actually reduce it back to 25. there are two that are actually not on the navigation so you don't hear it it just tells you it's going to turn but it doesn't say that there are roundabouts so the first one went ooh, the second one was slightly close but it did not hit so uh, again, big improvement. So very nice, very nicely done. Wow, that was an amazing FSD beta drive on that really challenging street. Like I mentioned, if you go back on my channel and watch all the FSD beta drives I've done on that particular street since October 2021, you're going to see the progression of FSD technology. During my daily drives, it's hard to tell whether or not beta has improved until I come on this street and try it out. This is where I can tell how much beta has grown.
So I hope you enjoyed this video and that if you are still kind of iffy about FSD and FSD beta, hopefully this video is giving you a lot more confidence to try this technology out. Thank you so very much for watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.